Hi, today we're going to see how to create the face head effect in GIMP. So first we need to create a new image, go to File, New. The image width is 1920 and the height is 1080, press OK. And now press minus on your keyboard to zoom out. And now I'm going to change the color of this layer. So first of all, I'm going to change the background color. Going to select this color here. So here's the HTML notation. And now press OK, select the gradient tool. The gradient is FG to BG RGB, foreground to background RGB, and the shape I'm going to use radial, sorry. And now I'm just going to trace my gradient from center, so here. So here it is, and I'll just select another tool here to confirm the gradient. And now I'm going to bring my image. I'm going to use this hand image first. So here it is, and I'm going to rotate this layer. So go to Layer, Transform, and then rotate 90 degrees clockwise. And now I'm just going to flip it so that I have the thumbs up. Just select the Flip tool, and then make sure the direction is vertical, then left click. And now I'm going to rotate it to straighten the hand hitch. Just select the Rotation tool, left click, and now I'm just going to rotate it. So here I think it's okay here, so click on Rotate. And now make sure this layer has an alpha channel, so right click. So as you can see, it has an alpha channel. And now just left click on Layer to Image Size. And now I'm going to remove the background. Select the Fuzzy Select tool. So here are the settings I'm using, so I'm going to uncheck the feather edges. Left click on the white here. So here, and now I'm just going to a little bit so here like this so here it is and i just press the delete key on your keyboard so here it is and now go to select none to remove the selection and now i'm going to bring my second image so i'm going to use this women image here i'm going to drag it to gimp so here it is and i'm just going to reduce the opacity so that i can see the hand layer under it and then I'm going to select the Move tool. So here, and now I'm going to scale it down first. So just select the Scale tool. Left click here on the Women layer. As you can see, we're on the Women layer. So as you can see here, the chain icon here is linked. So keep the Control key down here while dragging from the handles here to scale it proportionally like this. And now I'm just so I think I'm going to leave it here. So I press the plus key on my keyboard. So we're going to remove everything that's outside from the hand here, from the woman's face here, from the silhouette here. So now click on scale. And now press the minus key on your keyboard to zoom out. And now I'm going to bring back the opacity here of the women layer. Right click on it, make sure it has an alpha channel, and then left click to layer to image size. So here it is. And now I'm going to hide this women layer, so select the hand layer. I'm going to make selection from this layer, so right click, alpha to selection. And now I'm going to show again the women layer by clicking on the eye icon. Select the women layer. Now we're going to delete everything that's outside here on this hand selection. So I'm going to invert this selection, so go to select, invert. So now we're selecting everything that's outside, so we're selecting these parts here. And now just press the delete key on your keyboard. So here it is. And now just go to select none to remove selection. And now I'm going to remove this white background here from the women's face here. So just select the fuzzy select tool, left click. So here, and then just press the delete key on your keyboard. So here it is. And now just go to select none to remove selection. And now that I have the women's face here. I'm just going to do the same thing as before. Right click, alpha to selection, but I'm going to remove the hand here. It's outside the face here. And now I'm going to hide it, select the hand layer. So now the selection here, we're selecting, we can affect only what's inside the selection. Now I'm going to invert it. So go to select, invert. And now I'm going to press the delete key on my keyboard. So here it is. Now go to select, none to remove selection. So we deleted everything that's outside the 
women's face selection here and now I'm going to add the layer mask to this woman face here right click on it add layer mask check the black full transparency layer mask and then add so on layer mask the black represents transparency and the white opacity so now if we want to reveal the women's face we just need to paint with white make sure the foreground color is white select the paintbrush tool I'm going to increase a little bit size I'm going to increase a little bit the hardness here and now I'm just going to paint so here to reveal the women's face And now I'm just going to reduce here the hardness to blend the women's face here with the hand. Control Z to undo if you did a mistake. And now I'm going to change the foreground color to black. So here, so that I can remove some parts here of the women's face here like this. So here it is. And now press plus on your keyboard to zoom in. And now I'm going to select the hand here so i'm going to blend it a little bit here we're going to blend two images so go to colors hue and saturation so i'm going to affect the color and the lightness so here if i so here as you can see it's reddish i'm just going to place it here like this now for the lightness so here I'm going to reduce the saturation a little bit, so like this, press OK. And now I'm going to select the, the face layer here. Go to Colors, Hue and Saturation. I'm going to try to blend it with the skin here of the hand. So here it's too much. So here I think it's OK here, and then press OK. And now just select the colors again and now I'm just going to go to brightness and contrast now I'm just going to decrease a little bit the contrast so here and now press ok and now for example you can still if you select the layer mask here on the face layer and then select the paintbrush tool you can still make sure the foreground color is black if you want to remove some parts here so here like this if you want to reveal some part, just select the white color. So here, I think it's okay here. Now press minus on your keyboard to zoom out. And now I'm going to merge down these two layers. So click on this icon. Select the move tool. And now I'm going to place it in the middle here. And now I'm just going to add. So right click first, layer to image size. And now I'm going to add shadow here. Just select the paintbrush tool. Create a new transparent layer, so click on this icon, fill it with transparency, and then press OK. And now change the foreground colors to black, increase the size, I'm going to increase the hardness and force. I'm going to increase the size more, so here like this. So here it is, and now select the scale tool, left click. So as you can see, the chain icon here is linked, so give shift key down to scale it from one side, so here like this. Now I'm just going to here, enlarge it here in width. So here like this. And then press enter. Now you can still play with the opacity here like this. So here, now right click, new from visible. And now I'm just going to add some colors to it. So go to colors, color temperature. So I'm going to, to increase the blend. So I'm going to give it an orange tone like this the layer here so here like this and then press ok so here it is that's how you can create a face hand composite in GIMP thanks for watching have a nice day and uh, till next time